guys welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here my name is Gretchen and today I have got probably what is the biggest clean declutter and organize of my kitchen that I have done on my channel and I am doing all of this in preparation for the holiday season just with cooking and baking and all of the time that we already spend in the kitchen but even more during the holidays I just wanted to really tackle this project so if you are cleaning with me or maybe you have a space that you wanted to declutter today and you want to go ahead and get that tackled, we have more than enough time during this video for you to get something decluttered. And if you're not decluttering or you're just cleaning with me today, or maybe you're just relaxing and watching this video, I hope that you enjoy it. But before we get right into it, Please, if you're new here, I hope you'll consider hitting that red subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. With the holidays coming, I know that I'll have clean and decorate with me's and I enjoy Christmas so much. So I hope that you'll go ahead and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of those future videos. And if you are new here, please stop by in the comments to say hi. I love chatting with you guys. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of content. Now let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I started my decluttering off on this shelf that it's kind of like a baker's rack and it holds all of my husband's baking stuff. Now I got this for him, I wanna say it's been about three years now since I got it for him because he had absolutely no place for all of his baking stuff. He started selling cakes from home and it just became this thing for him uh, that he just has a passion about but he really had no place for it. So three years ago I organized this for him and this past year, of course, with COVID and everything, has been really slow with cakes for him. So he hasn't been working on cakes as much. But I also realized that I had not organized this space for him in so long that it was just a complete disaster. And it was hard for him to find things when he was working on a cake. So it was time for me to just get all of his tools in order all of his things cleaned up and really make this space really functional for him
So now here is this rack all organized, everything in its place. I took out everything that was expired or he was not using anymore or didn't need and just used what I had already to organize it to the best of my ability. This bakery sign, I had actually bought it for him last year and I never put it up so I went to go find it in the closet and went ahead and put that up for him and that was a nice surprise for him. And all of those containers just are categorized with certain things that he uses. And now the space is functional, it is clean, and it is easy for him to find everything that he needs. So I'm excited that I got this space done first. And actually it was the messiest space in our kitchen because it is so visible and you can just see anytime anything is thrown there it looks terrible so i have been meaning to do that for so long and i'm so happy that i finally got it organized Once I finished in that area, I wanted to start to get into the cabinets and just reorganize anything that was out of place. This area here has been pretty organized for a long time and it really wasn't bad. Neither was this space, but again, I'm just taking things out, cleaning and wiping things up and just really um, getting everything decluttered and reorganized. You can see a broken measuring cup there. Uh, this drawer for certain was a hot mess. And this happened when I went to go decorate for fall. Um, I just went ahead and put all the utensils in that drawer and it was not functional. So that was a mess, but I'm starting off here. I'm not exactly sure how so much rice got into this drawer, but this was the drawer with all of the Ziploc bags in it. And while it wasn't messy, you can see that the drawer needed to be vacuum cleaned and wiped down. Something that I also wanted to mention is that I would say that about 80% of the things that I use to organize in my kitchen are from the Dollar Tree. So if you have not started to organize or declutter a space because you feel like it's going to be too expensive, let me tell you, the Dollar Tree has amazing products to get you organized. And I love using bins and baskets from the Dollar Tree especially the ones that are really, really quality and functional. Now, this is another baking drawer that just has a few odds and ends. If you are wondering why a gardening tool that <laughs> it looks like it's a gardening tool, it's actually specifically for the kitchen, and my husband uses it to cut dowels for cakes. So that does not come out of the kitchen. It is only used for his cake making. <laughs>
So here is how that drawer turned out. I'm so happy that I took the time to go ahead and declutter that and just really leave in here the tools that are supposed to be in here. And I went ahead and I moved all of the other utensils onto the counter for now because it just makes more sense to not have all of those cluttering up the cabinet. Now, as you can see, this cabinet is where we keep all of our plastic Tupperware and then where I keep all of the kids' plates and cups just so it's accessible for them so they could go ahead. If they need a cup or they need a bowl, they just can come down here and they know where to find it. Now, if you notice, I have changed my clothes and this is because this is the next day. When I knew I wanted to tackle this project of decluttering and reorganizing my kitchen, I was being realistic. I knew that I wanted to tackle every area of the kitchen, but come on. I have kids, um, I've got to help my daughter with school and help my son, um, you know, he's only four, so doing everything and then on top of that, just being mom and keeping up with the household chores. So I was not trying to tackle all of the decluttering and organizing in one day that would have just been impossible for myself that may work for somebody else but for this busy mama it was not going to work so i started like you saw with the baking rack and the cabinets um, and then the next day i worked my way to these cabinets and then i started to do some deep cleaning and then you'll see that on another day i tackle the pantry just because i knew that these were going to be projects that were going to take a lot of time and energy and we have to be realistic when we're trying to tackle things like this we can't just say hey today i want to declutter the whole entire kitchen and organize it and expect to get it done in one day because that's just unrealistic so <laughs> Make sure that you are being realistic in whatever decluttering and organizing you are trying to tackle. Over the summer, I lost a shelf here, and as you can see, we have yet to put it up. So I'm just utilizing the top and the bottom. So now we are moving on under the sink, and this area wasn't too bad, but you can see everything is just everywhere, and it was getting to the point where it, the doors didn't want to close because I was just shoving things in there and it was not working anymore. So it was just time to take things out, reassess my organization, and again, clean up, wipe everything down, and start fresh. And this was everything that I took out from there, just things that did not belong in there. There were too many baskets and too many bins and I just had to pare it down to what was really functional. So after I tackled all of those cabinets, it was time for me to get started on some deep cleaning in my kitchen. 
because before I start decorating for Christmas, there's a lot of things that I put up here and I just like to start with a fresh, clean slate. So I am wiping everything off, all of the dust, all of the grime, and just really giving the cabinets a really good wipe down. And I'm using my Murphy's oil with some water and I love wiping the cabinets down with that. Obviously, you can see I am chatting away. My sister had come over. I wasn't expecting her to come over. And the whole time I was telling her, I'm so sorry. I was planning on filming this video. Um, and she was like, it's okay. But we were chatting away. And as you can see here, it was time for me to get this microwave really wiped down. So I just put some water there for about two minutes to steam up the microwave so I could go ahead and get it wiped down. And while I was waiting for that, I got started on the top of the refrigerator, which you could see was gross. And I do this because, I mean, not only is that gross and you wanna wipe that down anyways, but sometimes I end up decorating up here for Christmas and I never really know if I'm going to or not, but I prefer to have it clean anyways and go ahead and get that done. Now I am taking everything off of this side of the counters so I can go ahead and get started on really giving the backsplash a good wipe down.
Now, this was on a completely different day, and we are moving into my pantry. Um, <laughs> this pantry needed to just really be decluttered and reorganized. I hadn't gone through it um, probably since the beginning of the year. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that are out of place, and it just looks messy, and things are where they don't belong so it was time to get this done If you're wondering why I went from the pantry and then moved her over to this side, it's because we keep spices in two different areas. We don't have a lot of storage in our kitchen, so we have split the spices up, but I found so many things in the pantry that really should have been in this upper cabinet, which is where my husband keeps the majority of the spices that he uses on a daily basis. And then the spices in the pantry are things that he does only for like specialty cooking so you can see that I'm just going back and forth and this is why you didn't see me clean this top cabinet on the other days because I knew that I was going to have to go through the pantry and just figure those two areas out on the same day.
So here it is, the pantry is all organized, back in order, everything has a place and it is just beautiful. There is something about this organized pantry and guys, I organized this pantry with just Dollar Tree bins and the baskets I got from Aldi about a year and a half ago and they were not very expensive at all but I just love how everything looks nice and neat and it really just functions for us now so I am thrilled I actually found a picture of what our pantry looked like four years ago when I first organized it and it had absolutely no structure at that time go over to my Instagram because most likely by the time this video goes up, I will have a picture posted and I'll go ahead and post that picture just so you can see how far my pantry has come since four years ago. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. So I am giving the sink a deep clean by cleaning it with baking powder and just giving it a really, really good deep scrub. And then just to make sure I got rid of all of the baking soda, I went ahead and soaked a napkin with some vinegar and wiped it down with that.
Another thing that I wanted to do was go ahead and give all the small appliances a wipe down. So I started with my husband's mixer. I usually give it a good wipe down after he's used it just because I get so much flour and everything on it. But I just wanted to go ahead and give it a little bit of a deep clean. And yes, I am taking a toothpick to those small little crevices that get gunk in them and just using that to get the gunk out and wiping that down. The air fryer was another thing that really needed to get clean and to clean this first I removed all of the crumbs and then I took this cloth that I had bought at Target and I can't remember the name of it right now but it has a really really good scrubby side on it and just wetting that and cleaning uh, certain things like grease on um, appliances and stuff really really gets it cleaned so well so i have to find out the names if i can find out the name of the cloth i'll go ahead and link it in the description box below i really wish that i could remember right now just so that i can let you guys know but you can see i am just wiping that with water and the scrubby side of that cloth So another thing that I really wanted to give a deep clean to was our oven and while this is not the worst that it has been, um, <laughs> when I have cleaned it in the past I've made like a baking soda paste and so this time around I just went ahead and added water and used the Aqualift clean. You set it for 40 minutes on that um, setting and it basically it like steams the oven so while I had that going I went ahead and got started on the dishwasher I took the filter out of the dishwasher now I didn't even know this was a thing until I saw Brianna K clean hers out and she is a youtuber here um, one of my favorite youtubers and I saw when she cleaned her dishwasher she took a filter out now I've only had this dishwasher for almost a year now so I'm surprised that it wasn't worse than I was expecting it to be but if you've never taken the filter out of your dishwasher you may want to get that checked out because it was slimy and gross and that was just nasty Now, if the dishwasher would have been really, really bad, I would have set it on a vinegar rinse, and normally what I would do is put a cup of vinegar on the top rack and just let it run um, on a cycle and let it disinfect that way, but it actually wasn't too bad. So I just went ahead and sprayed it with this Microban antibacterial spray and gave it a really good wipe down.
Once the timer went off on that aqua lift setting, I went ahead and let it cool down a little bit and then just started taking my scraper tool that I used to clean the stovetop and I just started removing all the stuff that was coming off of there and then I went ahead and took that cloth that I used to clean the air fryer and I used that to scrub the sides of the oven. Now, it is not perfect, but it is definitely clean. Now, I don't know if this has happened to you, but I almost forgot to clean this bottom drawer on my range. And uh, yeah, you can just see how gross that is. So I wanted to make sure that I gave that a really good clean. It was just a matter of spraying it and wiping it down. Guys, I did it. I have decluttered, reorganized, and deep clean my kitchen. It is ready for the holiday season and I am so beyond excited that I finally got this done. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, also, drop me a comment down below, say hi, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got all of the motivation that you need. See you guys in the next one.